Good afternoon, or morning, or evening, or wherever it is that uh, you are. I am uh, currently on the uh, peninsula of Western Washington. Uh, just came through the small town of Kingston. Got off the ferry. Me and my buddy Don, right there. We are just going out for a mental health ride. Don, uh, Don's one of those guys, by far one of my best friends. He uh, he checks in on me now and then and makes sure that I'm I'm doing okay because he knows I'm I've got PTSD and I'm dealing with that and uh, you know when he says hey we're going out for a ride it's generally not a it's generally not a request it's a It's an order. So he sends me a text message yesterday, and it was kind of funny. He goes, Fat Smitty's. And I replied back, I was like, uh, Skinny Clark's? Question mark? He was like, Thin shoes? And I'm like, I, I don't know what you're talking about. But uh, basically what he was saying was there's a, there's a burger joint over here in this, uh, over here on the peninsula in uh, a little town called Discovery Bay. And uh, the burger joint's called Fat Smitty's. And uh, he said, burgers, what do you say? Motorcycles, burgers, ferries, ride. And I'm like, I'm down, let's go. So I had to take care of some business this morning, but uh, yeah, as soon as I, as soon as I got up this morning, I had pretty much had the bike packed, which was, you know, a ball of water and and uh, extra batteries for the GoPro and the 360 cam. But um, yeah, it was just uh, that's not even a question. Let's just go. A little, a little cool this morning, but that's okay. I gotta tell you, you know, come to terms with uh, with the fact that I need help as far as on my mental health is something that's hard to come to terms with. I uh, I've never never been one of those guys that when it came to my mental health, well, you know, pretty much every Gen X male. We've all said it, you know, I'm tough. I don't need somebody to talk to me about my feelings or whatever else. Talking to other veterans and, you know, and just even just random veterans that I that I don't even know, but we all share a camaraderie. We all share a brotherhood and a sisterhood. And talking to them and hearing them say, it doesn't matter where you served. We all have PTSD of one form or another. And to hear them say that, you know, kind of helped me, kind of helped me justify in my head that it's okay to to seek help. So, you know, I got finally got an appointment with the VA, and I've I've had VA medical coverage for 
I don't know, 10 years. But it was just one of those things where I didn't ever go to the VA because everybody always told the horror stories of, of going to the VA. And so it was just, it was one of those things of, I don't want to have to wait six months to, you know, to go see somebody about stubbing my toe. So I just never went, but talking to some guys and talking to some fellow vets and hearing them say, you know, you, you need to go to the VA and you need to get officially diagnosed with PTSD. Having them say to do it and then actually picking up the phone or in my case sitting down behind the keyboard and uh, making it happen, two totally different things. But I did it, and uh, this past Tuesday, I I went to the VA for my for my first appointment, and uh, I got to tell you, it's it's different, and it's an awkward feeling to talk to. Oh, wow. Um, to, to talk to someone and absolutely say whatever it is that you want to say and know that you're not being judged or looked down upon. It's hard. You know, and I'm, I'm not going to sit here and say that my PTSD is in any way, shape, or form like anybody that was in the Corps, you know, that was on the ground or in the Army or even, even in the Air Force. I mean, I was, on a, I was on an aircraft carrier, for God's sakes, you know. But, um, you know, it's, there, there are things that a person goes through mentally. So, getting out here today and just going out for a ride just kind of helps me blow everything off and just relax a little bit. sun has finally came out and we are just cruising some back roads over on the peninsula. Uh, we're just outside of Squim. We have no play, no agenda, we have no plans. We're just cruising. Which honestly, I gotta tell you, it's the best feeling. No agenda, no plan, no nothing. Just cruising. Not even going fast, man. I mean, you know, we're we're doing 40. <laughs> 